phone was acting like a Snapchat filter. What's up, everybody? I go by the name of Murder She Wrote, and I'm the proud owner of the Murder Report. The only owner of the Murder Report, to be quite honest. Baby, when I tell you, we got a few things to discuss. I had to take a little nap or whatever. And now I'm here, so don't you worry. Like, we got a lot of things to speak about, okay? Ooh, y'all niggas was waiting for me. Hi. All right. All right. Okay, so first and foremost, <laughs> I ain't even gonna start off with what y'all think I'm gonna start off with. Donna, we were rooting for you, Donna. Willie, I'm about to go off. Donna, we were rooting for you. We were all rooting for, well, I was rooting for Donna. Still can't move too well, but any two. So Donna from Black Ink Crew, she was like, I was, I, I was like, okay, they playing, they playing, they playing, huh? That new nigga playing, like, like Donna, you don't want to be nobody ambassador, like you don't want no endorsements, you don't want no deals, like Sky, like Donna was like bent over to the front and touching the the urinal, like this Donna is filthy, Donna is dirty. It's something really gutter butt about Donna from Black Ink Crow. Let's be very clear. It's something really gutter butt about Donna. Hi, Irene. Thank you. You wouldn't even know I'm exhausted. Um, my back is on fire. She, she no. Don't nobody want to see. Everybody done seen Donna in Harlem. Don't nobody want to see no more of that Pumkash before. Like honestly speaking, that would be a smart thing to do. Like since you having all this sex, sex with all these niggas that that are at the workplace, right? Maybe you could have got a deal. Maybe you could have had like a Mimi deal. Like you're on VH1. Maybe you could have had, had like, I mean, people want to see why everybody want to hit Donna off. Like, never know. I don't want to see it. Donna reminds me of Nibbles from, from I Love New York. Like, I'm done with Donna. I'm sorry. I be trying to take up for her when I'm doing my commentary, but Donna, you can't even take up for yourself. You hear me? You seen the nigga. You heard the niggas recording you. You heard the niggas recording you, ma. And you still over there to him. Still throwing it back. And then the way you throwing it back look like horrible. This nigga rolling a blunt like he ain't got no respect for you. He probably had the crush on one left, 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 left cheek. And then he probably had the Bob Marley on the right cheek. It's like, all my life. Uh, come on now. Come on now. And you know he put some hot grava. He probably had the hot grava right on her spine and then... Donna had to, she ruined it. She ruined it. I, you know, she was getting her wigs together. She was getting her outfits. Mm, but mm, she was like, mm, it wasn't too many spandex this season so far. You know, it wasn't too many leggings. It's like Donna had a little bit of potential. Potential. We thought like she was starting to have a voice in, in black ink. Like you're starting to tattoo, and then you had a horrible tattoo, and now you're having a horrible um, Black History Month moment. Like, and didn't even say nothing about it. And then for Kevin to even allow that, Kevin is a sucker. See, I would have fought Kev because Kev was standing right there, like he's up there. Maybe Donna was like she Bill Cosby herself, like she smoked, drank. Shit, maybe the bitch was sober. Who knows? I'm not there. But at the same time, my whole thing is, when you, when is enough enough, Donna? When? When? You gonna have sex with a nigga named the Vagina Slayer? The Vagina Slayer? Like, he ain't look like he was slaying nothing. He ain't look like he was saying nothing. To be quite honest, wait, maybe his dick was big because the back shots was like, but it was slow motion. It was like slow motion for me. Like, no. Mm -mm. I'm trying to tell you. Donna that messed up. Donna, I'm done. Dirty Donna. Dirty Donna. I will not take up for her. Regina Carter. Regina Carter. Regina. Regina. Hey, boo. Adore my universe. What's going on, Mills? Um. I really wanted to hit like a 
with his brown shoulders, but that ain't happening. I did it in my head. Anywho, um, Regina Carter was seen, well, not even seen, she was exposed by YMF Lucy. Why Lucy? The, um, every day we lit, you can't tell me shit. That nigga, his baby mother exposed them. And she ain't have none of that Brandon Barnes mouth that, let me call Ree. She ain't do none of that shoulder action. She ain't do none of that, mm -mm, yeah. all right, calm down. <laughs> she ain't do none of that. She ain't had none of that energy. I was like, mm-hmm. How about that? How about that? She ain't had none of that energy she had with Brandon. None, honey. She ain't have none of that energy. I was like, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it. Also, you know who ain't have not a bit of energy? You know who ain't have not an ounce of energy? All y'all niggas be hyped up about these little Instagram bitches. Be sitting up here talking about, you know, them bitch. Y'all be quick to hit like on them bitches that shape like, 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 built like that. These Instagram hoes that done got sucked, plucked, and fucked. You hear me? Hmm. Now you all see. Yes, I am speaking about China. I'm speaking in regards to Angela. She lost the name Black China in my eyes, honey. Because let's be very clear. What was that? Like, who did that? Who, who recorded that? That nigga had the nerve to record it due to the fact he couldn't believe, like, damn, I'm really with Black China. Like, my dick is in between her titties and my tip of my dick is in her mouth. And she ain't doing nothing with it. Like, I gotta let my my homie see this. Like, Black China don't know how to slob on the dog. I'm do a lot. Like, check in with me and do your job. Late on the bed. Too thick. Hey, Annie. Hey, Guru. Man, me and BK Tideway were supposed to come on here together, but I don't know what happened. I took a nap, and then um, I think she sleep or whatever. But I'm, I'm going to give her a few, you know what I'm saying? Because she be popping up out of nowhere. But let's be very clear, back to Black China. I can't, I still can't believe it. Like, bitch, you, 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 you know what? Rob Kardashian need to sue you. Because, you know what it is? It's levels to the shit. She could do that little cute shit with Rob because his dick probably wasn't, like, hitting like that. Like, if Rob wanted to take a dunk on the toilet, his dick is not touching the water. Let's be clear. But the nigga Michi that she was with, this is her ex-boyfriend. And he's sitting up here trying to play victim. I can't believe my penis is plot. Plastered all over the internet. Nigga, that's a baby leg. Like, your DMs is fitting to blow up. You hear me? Not by me. Like, mm -mm. I ain't shooting my shot. No, thank you. Mm -mm. But due to the fact, you're going to be known as the nigga that Black China could not handle. You hear me? I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. This nigga couldn't believe the fact that Black China, he got Black China mouth wide open, like, wide open, and she ain't doing nothing with it, nothing, and then had the nerve to try to do the upside down, uh-uh, mm-mm, I would've been, mm-mm, 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 okay, look, he should've just grabbed her head and said, look, he should've just grabbed, like, you had ample opportunity, my whole thing was, in that moment, he was past the fact of busting a nut, he was in the mind frame of, I gotta let somebody see this, cause I can't believe this, <laughs> you hear me? Black China. All these niggas be sitting up here all high. Want the bitches with the fake buzz. Want the bitches with the fake titties and a waist like this small. The bitches from Miami. Hmm. That's just like, this is a myth. I'm not I'm not saying it's true. It's a fact. Um, just like they always say, oh, Jamaican women don't know how to um, ride dick. They know how to whine, but they don't know how to ride dick. Like, they know how to dance, but they can't. No, no that, 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 I don't know. I don't know. That's all I heard all my life. All my life. All my, all my life. You know? Yo, also, I want to speak about Wendy Williams. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, Wendy Williams, if you have not all noticed, like, I was one of the first vlogs. I think I was the first vlog that posted the fact of her almost passing out for a second time last week. And, um... 
Wendy Williams is, is, is stressed. And it's that husband. Because first of all, did y'all see her today? Her wig was sitting all the way up here on the top of her head. Her wig was sitting all the way back here on the top of her scalp. I don't know who, who, who let her come outside looking like that. And then she has a, has a podium now. She got to lean on shit. She can't stand on her own. Wendy's letting that man take her soul. He's burning a candle on her. She better rebuke it. She better speak to God. Because um, Hank ain't hitting. Even to the point where her son came to work with her. When, when little Kev will, will ever come to work? When does little Kev ever come to work with Wendy? Do we even know what little Kevin looks like? I said her husband's name was Hank. His name is Kevin. Yeah, my bad. Big Kevin. No. Oh, hey, Keisha. Yeah, like, Wendy is sick. She getting sick. She's sick to the point where she looks like a toothpick. You hear me? She look like she is malnutrition. You hear me? Because something is transpiring in the home. Her house is not a home. Her house is not a home for the moment. And that nigga is cheating. Listen, Wendy. Let me tell you something, Wendy. Let me tell you something, Wendy Williams. You don't need that nigga that ain't got... First of all, you you are... Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Wendy, he got to respect the breadwinner. You got to lay down the rules. You feel me? If the nigga ain't... Nigga, if you can't pay Con Ed without going in my purse or my pocketbook or in my account, our joint account, then it's a problem. What other people does he manage besides me? That sounds weird. Basically, I'm paying you to be with me and paying you to stay. I wish the fuck I would let my, my so-called significant other be my manager. Hell no. Nigga, I'm not paying you. Fuck you mean. No, I've seen too many Tyler Perry movies and women that got burnt over by these niggas and God forbid, look at look away in the exhale. 11 years, 11 fucking years. You know, no. No. Nigga, I work for this. Okay? Don't try to Alexa Sky me. You will not. So, anyhow. Angela. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Black China. I can't believe it's like we had a great weekend. Everybody was so hyped about Black Black Panther. They done made about 38 milli. And we got to wake up on Monday morning to Donna getting back shots in the urine. You kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? This is what the white folks was waiting for. They was waiting for us dumb niggas to sit up here and do something stupid. Donna and Black China sitting up here sucking dick. Sucking dick and taking dick. Come on now. And barely, the both of them look tired. They both look tired. They both look tired. You hear me? They both look tired. Let's be very clear. Just like Fergie was tired as hell singing that freaking national anthem. Fergie was tired. Tired. Well, at least she apologized. She was like, you know, th see, my whole thing is these celebrities need to stop trying to change it. I ain't even like it when Destiny's Child did that. I don't I, don't play with the Star Spangled Banner. That's like you playing with gospel songs. You don't play with certain gospel songs like Granted Black Folks. We like drag it. But understood. But you ain't playing with no national anthem on no live TV. Like, who is in Fergie's team that approved that? Like, she ain't got no friends. Like, she got just straight yes niggas. You hear me? She ain't got nobody telling her, Ferg, I don't think St uh, Stacy. Stacy. That's a no for me, dog. How are you on a judging show and you ain't got no friends standing by your side to help you judge yourself? Like, you didn't practice at home. You ain't record yourself. You ain't have like a YouTube moment. Your, your, well, yeah, her, her husband ain't together no more. That fine nigga from um, Transformers. He ain't a nigga, though. That white guy from um, Transformers. Mm -hmm. Josh, something Josh. But anyway, move right along. Fergie done lost her entire mind. Steph Curry. Dream on, and the rest of them were rolling. You hear me? I would have been rolling. I probably would have peed a little bit. I'm not gonna hold you because to honestly sit there through that nonsense, I would have been taken back so vaguely. Like I'm appalled. I would have sat down. Like you should. You know what? When when it started going left, she should have just sacrificed and got on her knee. She should have just got on her knee. She should have. She should have just. And, and, uh, oh. And got on her knee and that's it and dropped mic. Matter of fact, I would have just dropped the mic. I would have said 
I would have put the mic all the way down here. Like, if I, you know when you at your best. That's just like if you meet the new guy on the street and you feel like your voice is cracking, you'll go, <clears throat> Are you going to try to do like a little cute laugh? Like, <laughs> try to clear your throat a little bit. Like, come on. None of her friends could be looking at her in the audience like, nobody in the audience was like, they could have cut the mic. And I don't give a shit about none of her apologies. You internet trolls better, you better drag her. Y'all better drag Fergie like y'all drag Mariah. Y'all drag Mariah for every little thing. Y'all drag Mariah if Mariah sneezes outside. Y'all drag Mariah if Mariah, uh, y'all drag Mariah for everything, okay? So drag her. It's her go. Ooh, Black China, though. Ooh. What Wendy do? Ooh. <laughs> I was not posting that shit on here though I tell you that I ain't playing them type of games with Instagram Cause She got lawyers tweeting for her Like sis You know who leaked it You know who did it Like why we gotta be all held accountable for, for you all's mistakes Shit Let us post and let us be great It is what it is like Love on and on. I'm doing a lot. Marvin and Whitney, that's a fact though. Out here apologizing. It's too late. Keep it. Don't be sorry. Be careful. It's too late. But anywho, I just came on here for a brief moment just to talk shit real quick. Anything else transpired that I missed that I didn't speak about? Love and hip hop, I was very entertained today. I was also entertained with um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Shamia and Eva have beef. They've been beefing via Twitter today. And um, I think it's really just messy. And they're basically trying to. This is what they're trying to do. They're trying to secure the peach. They're trying to secure the peach for next season. That's what the both of them are doing. They think they slick. If they get a peach, Marlo better get a peach. Because Marlo is messy, honey. You hear me? This is the episode where um, Kim and Nene had a little bit of beef. Because Sheree came back on it being so thirsty to the point where she's just a gossip Gabby. And she's just an instigator. You hear me? I hope somebody get her again. Somebody got to get Sheree. Because how they just let her surpass through with the snitching. Like, come on. Understood. Nene said what she said. She been told us she will always say what she said and she gonna stick by it. Well, what you want me to do about it? Well, what what, what do you want me to do about it? You know? And it is what it is. But at the same time, Kim Zosiak is something really gutter butt about her. I never... Kim was never one of my favorites. I'm sorry. I never really liked Kim. I ain't even gonna hold you. Mm -mm. I ain't even gonna hold you. I ain't never really like him, Dirty Zosiak, and her daughter. Sitting up here talking about... Everybody know Atlanta got big-ass water bugs. Everybody know that. For, secondly, they live in big old mansion-ass houses. So with that being said... And they be having swamps and they backyards. It's just like acres. You hear me? So with that being said, of course you're going to have all types of um, rodents or even... I'm not taking up Fanini in a sense. Like, roaches is roaches. Okay, roaches is dirty. If I'm ever on a live, and God forbid if somebody sees something crawling in the back of my wall, y'all gonna, gonna tear me up. Candy's aggravating. Candy is really aggravating because honestly speaking, Candy should have gave up that room for Nini because that was shady. That was really, really shady. Like, she should have gave up the room. Candy took the master suite. And although Nene and Cynthia were the ones hosting the Barcelona trip. And I think Candy, if it was her, she would have had a fit. So that was shady. It's cool, though. It's cool, though. So, that's just my little rundown of today's topics. Candy always on her back. She's so goddamn defensive, Candy. Candy always defensive. I'm happy for Escape, though. Got a record deal. They got an album coming out. Good for them without Nazzle Candy. I don't know who told her she could sing. I don't know who told him. Jermaine Dupree when he was... <laughs> when Jermaine Dupree was bending her over, he must have told her like what she needed to hear so he could get her bent over. You hear me? So, that's crazy. Because she cannot... Let's be very clear. Voice is horrible. Horrible. That's a fact, nigga. 
What's up, Kaidi? What's up, family? Freaking, um, what was I talking about? Oh, Candy and her, 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 her raggedy ass voice. Lord have mercy. But I don't really want to get too, too in depth because I usually do my recaps at the end, end of the week. Okay, don't forget, Taj. I got you. I'm gonna check my DM. I've been wailing lately. <sighs> I have a lot going on outside of Instagram that you all don't see, but I'm not gonna speak about it. This is not a, a therapy moment, okay? This is not Dr. Phil. I talk about other people's business. I don't talk about my business on here. Let's be clear. Y'all don't know if I'm single, in a relationship, pregnant, got kids, none of the above. And ain't none of y'all goddamn business. I'm lying. I ain't got no kids. I like long walks on the beach. I'm six feet tall. I got a wagon. I'm dragging. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. I'm a Virgo, you know. But let me get out of here. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. And I'll see you all probably midweek or maybe end of the week. If something else happens, then let me know. Let me know. I tell you that. Make sure you all follow my Snapchat, Murder She Wrote 86, so you all can see um, Black China videos and all the shit that Instagram won't let me post here. Okay? And what else? That's about it. And thanks for tuning in. You guys are so freaking awesome. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.